Declaration of the Thirteen United Without prejudice, i.e., all natural and unalienable rights reserved. A Walk Indian Nation in America. House of Dallas. Executor's Office, Linton O'Neill X 232 2 East Greater Portmore St. Catherine, American Island of Zamayaka, Jamaica Commonwealth. In the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. Criminal Division. Cause of Action, Trespass. Linton O'Neill Dallas Trademark Copyright Title. Versus. Byron Martindale No. 13172 and Kirk Weston No. 14422 ET, AL. Notice, Judicial Claim. 1. In order to proceed, I first demand that this tribunal recognize that I am here on special visitation as the beneficial equitable title holder slash owner on the matters pertaining to the legal trust entity Linton O'Neill Dallas TM Copyright. 2. I am also demanding this tribunal to take notice that I am present, only in the capacity as one who has attained the age of majority. Therefore, I direct you to fulfill your fiduciary duty and settle all accounts as my public trustees and or public servants. 3. I am now acknowledging and accepting the certification of my right of subrogation. I do not consent to proceed until this tribunal acknowledge that I am here on special visitation as the Beneficial Equitable Title Holder Slash Owner. 4. I am now invoking my right to self-identification and self-determination. Notice, the Unanimous Declaration of the Thirteen United States of America July 4, 1776, when in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth, the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter, or to abolish it, and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form, as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Notice, Judiciary Act September 24th. 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 201789 Court shall not deny for want of form. Notice, Judiciary Act June 25, 1948 CH 64562 STAT 685 Crimes and Criminal Procedure 371 Conspiracy to commit offense or to defraud United States. Notice, Universal Postal Union Authority I have paid the freight fee for this document, by way of a cancelled adhesive one dollar USA postal stamp, representing one troy ounce of gold, which entitle and guarantee not just the document, but myself safe passage as postmaster. In the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court. Criminal Division. Judicial Notice of Claim, in the form of an affidavit. Claimant slash plaintiff. Linton O'Neill X, Dallas TM. Versus. Case hashtag. Respondent slash defendant. Byron Martindale number 13172. Kirk Weston number 14422. April 28, 2021. Cause of action. Trespass. These two men doing business as Byron Martindale No. 13172 and Kirk Weston No. 14422 acting as Constables for the Government of Jamaica Corporation, DUNS hashtag 873-266-522 and number 8732665522, assumes full commercial liability for their actions. The Jamaica Independence Act, July 19, 1962. Be it enacted by the Queen's Most Excellent Majesty, 
by and with the advice and consent of the Lords Spiritual and Temporal, and Commons, in this present Parliament assembled, and by the authority of the same, as follows, 1. 1. As from the 6th day of August, 1962, in this act referred to as the appointed day, Her Majesty's Government in the United Kingdom shall have no responsibility for the Government of Jamaica. 2. No act of the Parliament of the United Kingdom passed on or after the appointed day shall extend, or be deemed to extend, to Jamaica, as part of the law thereof, and as from that day the provisions of the first schedule to this act shall have effect with respect to the legislative powers of Jamaica. The Jamaica Constitution July 25, 1962 Chapter 3 Chapter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms Whereas every person in Jamaica is entitled to the fundamental rights and freedoms of the individual, that is to say, has the right, whatever his race, place of origin, political opinions, color, creed or sex, but subject to respect for the rights and freedoms of others and for the public interest, to each and all of the following, namely, life, liberty, security of the person, the enjoyment of property, and the protection of the law, freedom of conscience, of expression, and of peaceful assembly and association, and respect for his private and family life, the subsequent provisions of this chapter shall have effect for the purpose of affording protection to the aforesaid rights and freedoms, subject to such limitations of that protection, as are contained in those provisions being limitations designed to ensure that the enjoyment of the said rights and freedoms by any individual does not prejudice the rights and freedoms of others or the public interest. Universal Declaration of Human Rights Article 21, 3, The Will of the People Shall Be the Basis of the Authority of Government. The National Constitution for the United States of America of 1787, amended as the Bill of Rights in 1789, and ratified in 1791 as the supreme law of the land, the original jurisdiction, the original contract. Federal Law Violations, Conspiracy Against Rights Public Law, June 25, 1948, CH 645, 62 STAT 696. Deprivation of Rights Under Color of Law Public Law, June 25, 1948, CH 645, 62 STAT 696. Impersonator Making Arrest and Search, Public Law, June 25, 1948, CH 645, 62 STAT 742, PUB. L. 103-322, Title XXXIII, 330016-1-H, September 13, 1994, 108 STAT 2147. Statement of Truth For the physical assault and trespass upon this man Dallas, Linton O'Neill X, beneficial title owner over the Linton O'Neill Dallas trademark, Copyright property by way of an 1. Unlawful arrest, false imprisonment, and unlawful search and seizure of private property by Byron Martindale No. 13172 and Kirk Weston No. 14422 on November 30, 2019, while traveling not under license, when by force of arms these two men stole my private automobile along with other private possessions that was never returned to, Linton O'Neill X, Dallas TM. 2. Unlawful arrest, false imprisonment, and seizure of private property again, by Byron Martindale No. 13172 on March 24, 2021, while at traffic court, when by force of arms Byron Martindale No. 13172 has, 1. Simulation of legal process, which is fraud, and 2. Making a legal determination as to my lawful status, which is an unauthorized practice of law and 3. Administering my property without express written consent or authorization, in violation of the Do Not Trespass Notice fee. Schedule Notice and Trademark Copyright Slash Copy Claim Notice. Interrogatories These men doing business as Byron Martindale No. 13172 and Kirk Weston No. 14422 acting as Constables for the Corporate Government of Jamaica I demand the production of these documents. 1. Produce the obligation or contract upon which you Byron Martindale No. 13172 and Kirk Weston No. 14422 rely to jurisdiction to access or administer my property. 2. Produce the obligation or contract that exists between myself, 
and U. Byron Martindale No. 13172, Kirk Weston No. 14422, and the Government of Jamaica the company, organization, or corporation you work for. 3. Produce the verified claim of trespass, where I have caused damage or harm to you Byron Martindale No. 13172, Kirk Weston No. 14422 or damage or harm to any other man or woman. 4. Produce the name of the man or woman from your company or corporation Byron Martindale No. 13172 and Kirk Weston No. 14422 that claim Linton O'Neill X, Dallas TM, as their property, and by doing so assumes full commercial liability and fee schedule charges. Production of documents or trespass occurs. These men doing business as Byron Martindale No. 13172 and Kirk Weston No. 14422 acting as constables for the government of Jamaica, you have three days to produce the obligations or contracts demanded herein. 1. Your silence shall be construed as tacit acquiescence and binding contractual agreement of liability for trespass violation. 2. Service of process is served by way of the date stamp and initial by the court of clerk slash court clerk's office. 3. Default notice shall be served three days after document is date stamped by the court clerk office, initiating the binding contractual agreement, do not trespass violation charges, copyright slash copy claim violation charges, and fee schedule violation charges. 4. Trespass violation charge, USA $1 million at par value, per violation, by Byron Martindale No. 13172 and Kirk Weston No. 14422. 5. Trademark, copyright slash copy claim charge, USA $500,000 at par value, per violation, by Byron Martindale No. 13172 and Kirk Weston No. 14422. 6. Fee schedule charges, USA $25 million at par value, per violation, by Byron Martindale No. 13172 and Kirk Weston No. 14422. 7. Injunction demanded. Constables Byron Martindale No. 13172 and Kirk Weston hashtag. 14422 Your harassment and unlawful conducts are duly noted. Certification Justice of the Peace. Authentication done this 14th day of April in the year 2021 under oath by Dallas, Linton O'Neill X, a titled Sovereign, General Executor, Chief Counsel, and Nestorian King at the Court of Marshalsea. Signature by Linton Dallas, Authorized REP, Linton O'Neill X, Title Owner.